Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. I'm super excited for today's video because I've been waiting to do it for such a long time. If you didn't know, I am seven months pregnant now and I've been living in my Lululemon. So today's video is going to be my top recommendation slash picks for maternity slash postpartum from Lululemon. I was also a former educator and get asked all the time on what pieces would work for pregnancy slash postpartum. So so I'm very excited to be sharing everything with you today. I've been waiting to do this video just because I wanted to see how big my bump was going to get and of course this video is going to vary for every single person but I feel like there's enough recommendations and suggestions in here that you could find something that works for you. I will have everything linked down below in case you're interested in shopping any of the items that I mentioned in today's video so be sure to head down there and check that out. I will be trying most of these things on as well so you can see how they fit during pregnancy and most of these things are actually what I wore pre-pregnancy as well so I will know they will also work for postpartum but without further ado let's jump right into it okay so like I said this video and my recommendations might vary for you and like what works for you depending on how you're carrying the way your bump grows the season that you are pregnant during, etc. So there's also a multitude of factors, so just take that into consideration. But I feel like most of these picks will work for any season. So let's go ahead and get started with bottoms first and foremost. So the number one thing I recommend is the Align leggings from Lululemon. The Align leggings are made from a fabric called Nulu, which makes them buttery soft and super stretchy. They are coined for having a naked sensation. So being very lightweight and and very like soft for me I'm still getting away a little bit in my regular size so that is a size 2 that's my pre-pregnancy size and they're still stretching to fit over my bump by the end of the day I do find it gets a little tight and uncomfortable so I did size up one size which I do find helpful and a little bit more comfy so depending on your budget you could still probably get away with your regular size or you might have to go up one size as well if anything I would also recommend the super high rise aligns this is my one pair I just got a plain black pair because it is a staple it goes with everything and I did go up one size to a size four in these but I just find the super high rise definitely comes over the bump a little bit more and it helps it from slipping down when the pants do get a little bit tighter at night it's just gonna sit a little bit higher on my bump so it's not pulling so much at the bottom so if you can get super high rise anything I would highly recommend especially the aligns I find that the super high rise is just a lot more comfy and it's not gonna dig in on my bump but that being said the new loom material comes in a bunch of pants so if you are looking for leggings the align leggings are great they also make align joggers and then they also make the groove pants so that would be these ones and also the Align Mini Flares. These are the 28 inches. And again, you might go with your regular size or might have to size up in one of these. Sadly, I won't be trying these ones on specifically because they are my pre-pregnancy size, which is a zero, which is a size or two too small now. If you wanted to splurge on these and get something, I think you could still go with mostly your pre-pregnancy size or like one size up and be okay with it. They are a little bit more pricey, so I do understand that factor. The great thing about the grooves again they're going to be that super high rise so they're going to come up a little bit more over the bump plus it just gives you a little bit more of a fun outfit variation because they are a flared legging I would say the Align mini flares are almost more like a straight leg pant but I do like these ones these are a regular size two for me and again they still fit but they get a little snug at the end of the day but again, just a nice little outfit variation if you don't want super tight leggings. Those are all different options that you could go with. And if you are expecting during the summer months, obviously you're going to need a pair of shorts. And I really recommend the Align High Rise Shorts. These are the six inch length. And again, same thing for sizing. You might be able to go with your pre-pregnancy size or you might need one size up. If they have any super high rise available on the website, I know some of them just went to Markdown. But if they have any that come back in any other color, again highly recommend the super high rise but these are just my plain align shorts and I will absolutely be living them 
during the summer. That's pretty much all I have for bottoms. Again, like I said, everything is in that Nulu fabric. So super soft, very stretchy, and that lightweight naked sensation. So highly recommend anything kind of more in that Nulu yoga family that's going to be more stretchy and give you some room for your growing bump. All right, next let's move on to bodysuits slash dresses from Lululemon. So the first thing I have here, again, is the Align bodysuit. It's the same Nulu material. Now, I would pretty much only recommend this for your second trimester I think because in your first trimester and your third trimester you are constantly going to the bathroom which I feel like the bodysuit part would get a little bit annoying having to basically take off the whole top portion to then use the bathroom but in your second trimester when you're not going as frequently this looks super cute with the bump I love it I know it's a little bit more pricey so again it's one of those kind of splurge items that you might not wear a ton uh, during your pregnancy, but again, something that could also potentially work postpartum. It has basically the same top as the Align tank and then Align leggings on the bottom. And it's just a super cute little one piece styled with like a scuba or a button up or a sweater or something like that. I think adds like a nice variety to your closet. And this one might be a little bit tricky, however, depending on how much bigger your growth gets in your belly and your chest area. For me, I went up one size and it fits fine. However, again, it totally depends on your body and how you carry. I do really love the Align bodysuit and I did live in that during my second trimester. Next thing we have here is actually a little bit newer for me but I still recommend it and it is the All Align midi dress. This is the ribbed version but I know they have like non-ribbed versions uh, from previous years if you find those on like a reselling site but I went with my normal size 2 in this and I think this is so so flattering. It'll be great for spring, summer, and fall because it is like a longer length. It flatters the bump nicely the one thing I would say about this one is I don't love the kind of seam detail down the side here. I feel like it kind of cuts in at the bump weird, but in the black version, you can't really tell. I did try the brown or the Java version, and I feel like the seam was really prominent and like showy, so I didn't love that. But in the black, it's not bad. I have not hauled this yet even, so I'm very excited to get to wear this once it warms up here where I live. But I think this is just so, so flattering. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And honestly, when your bump just gets too big to even fit into pants, dresses I feel like are the way to go. So I highly recommend the All Aligned Midi Dress. And the last dress I have here is the Classic Fit Cotton Blend T-shirt dress. Again, I feel like this is super casual, very lightweight, perfect for summer if you're expecting during the hotter months. This has lots of room. I'm still wearing my pre-pregnancy size. This one is a zero. I would almost say go with your true to size or even size down in this one because it is quite oversized almost. I know it says classic fit, but I do feel like for t-shirt dresses for me personally, they can get like really boxy really quick. So you might have to play around with sizing on this one a little bit, but I'm still wearing my pre-pregnancy size, which is a size zero. And I feel like this one flat the bump really nicely and again is a nice just like throw on item for the summer so that is the last kind of dress recommendation all right next is kind of sports bras and this one is a little bit tricky so I only have two really core recommendations so the first one here the of course like a cloud bra if you guys been watching my channel for a while you know that I love these pre-pregnancy and I even feel like these are going to work postpartum as well if you plan to nurse or pump or anything. I think these are still like easy enough to access that. So this is the first thing I've been religiously wearing and probably the only bra I've actually bought and I did have to go up one size for me personally. I used to be a size four pre-pregnancy and those fit for the first three months and then I did go up to a size six and this one was so much better <laughs> fit wise. So you might have to go up one or two sizes. Now you also have to be mindful about cup sizing as well. Before I was about, you know, a B, C cup and the like the clouds are meant for a B, C cup. This one fits pretty well, but for example, I also would recommend the Align bra. However, this one can be a little bit more tricky because the regular line bras are for an A, B cup and then they also do make a version C, D. Same with this one, they make a D, double D version. 
So depending on your cup size and you know how much growth you have there, you might have to play around with the different cup sizing as well, like factor that into which bra you will want to get. For me, I was lucky I was able to stay within the same range for this one, but for the Align bra, I would have to go up to the CD version since these are AB and this is just not quite enough support or coverage anymore. So even though I tried to go up to a size six in this one, it just still was not enough coverage. So I would have to trade to the CD version. However, again, depending on your growth, the way you carry, etc., this could be a really good option. Again, super soft, Nulu fabric. It's very stretchy. And again, I feel like it could work for postpartum, for nursing or pumping as well. So this is a very simple basic bra. I absolutely love the Align bras before I was pregnant. Unfortunately, these ones I did outgrow in the first three months. So I haven't worn them yet and I didn't really want to go with an Align CD one because I don't love the two seams on them. So I did opt to just go with the Leica Clouds, but either one of these I feel like is a good option, again, depending on your size and everything like that. So these would be my top two bra recommendations. All right, and the last category, of course, is tops, which I feel like I have the most recommendations on. For me, tops were like the biggest thing that I could like interchange and still keep to my pre-pregnancy sizing. So for me, I think the tops are like definitely a good investment piece for pregnancy and postpartum but the bottoms can be a little bit trickier depending again on how you carry, but let's start off with the first category. So that is the whole tight line. It is what I'm wearing right now. They have the long sleeves obviously, and then they also have a short sleeve version and they just recently came out with this scoop neck tank, which I absolutely love. So the long sleeve I, was living in for the first three months, but now that it is getting warmer, um, and again, it depends on your climate and what you know season you're expecting in, the short sleeve is also really nice. I would say that these are long enough to also stretch over the bump really nicely without it being any sort of crop top, and this whole tight uh, scoop neck tank, which is actually a newer release for them. I am obsessed with this. This is so flattering. I love the fit of this. They do have a other hold tight tank top that has a higher neck. However, I just didn't love the shape and the cut of it as much, but this one is a for sure winner for me. And again, I love that this is like a lower scoop neck. So again, it would work for postpartum for nursing and pumping, but it is the softest, stretchiest fabric. It is like a little bit of a ribbed texture, but I am honestly, obsessed with the whole tight line as you can tell like literally any of the silhouettes or cuts I feel like you can't go wrong with for pregnancy and postpartum I love the whole tight long sleeves before I was pregnant and they have served me very well during this pregnancy so that's why I decided to go with the short sleeve and the tank I will probably pick up more of these as well I've already worn this one but I haven't even hauled it and I don't know I just Think that this is such a flattering silhouette again they're like long enough to fit over that bump which is nice especially when you know things get a little bit tighter down there in the belly area it's just nice for things to kind of stretch over it like i said the whole tight line great basics they have some good neutral colors as well so something that you could really make an investment in not just for your pregnancy and it's not just like a maternity piece so they will work like after the baby is here next thing is a couple basic cotton t-shirts so the first one i have here is the all yours t-shirt this one is more of a relaxed boxy fit however i absolutely lived in these my first and second trimester just because they are like long enough again to go over the bump and they're just like a casual basic cotton tee to throw on over your leggings and I feel like it kind of hid my bump for a while really well so I don't know if that's something that you are looking to do then I think that this is a really nice shirt and again I still am in my pre-pregnancy size which is a size zero for this one I would consider getting true to size or size down because again they can get very boxy they are a relaxed oversized fit and it's just like a nice like cottony breathable material and I feel like this could also again work for postpartum because you don't have to size up or anything and it's just like a nice oversized little t-shirt. The next one I have here is the Love Crew. This one is a little bit more fitted. It does have like kind of like a high low hem seam at the bottom but again 
fits nicely over the bump. It's a nice cotton material, very lightweight for summer. And I still am in my pre-pregnancy size, which is a size two for this one. I do go with a size two, which is my typical size because this one is more of a classic slim cut. So it does cut into the body a little bit more, which you'll be able to see in the try on. But again, a super simple basic tee that I feel like is a staple in my closet. And I reach for these all the time. And lastly, the Swiftly line has also been another one of my favorites, particularly the tanks and the short sleeves. I find the long sleeves were a little bit tight kind of in the arms and shoulders at this point, but the tanks I get still a size two. I would opt maybe for the regular length version rather than the race length version, and this one is a race length, just because the longer length is obviously gonna give you more coverage to fit over that bump as it grows, but the Race length still like covers it enough if you're wearing high waisted leggings. However, it does tend to ride up a little bit, I find, because it kind of sits halfway over the bump, so it can slip up. But honestly, I just love the Swiftly tanks, especially if you are expecting in the summer, they are going to be sweat wicking. They have that anti-stink material, which is the silver essence woven into it. So that's honestly fantastic because apparently postpartum, you definitely sweat a lot more. So I think that these could also work pregnancy and postpartum. So here are the Swiftly t-shirts that I've also been obsessed with. So you can see this one is the race length. This one is the regular length. I do like to opt for the regular length a little bit more because like I said, it just covers the bump and it's not like riding up, but the race length still works, I think, depending on what you're going for. Pre-pregnancy, I would opt for the race length, um, but I do like having kind of the both to switch between if you have that ability. I find like it gives you a nice variety and then yeah, again, sweat wicking, super lightweight, and I just feel like these are nicely fitting as well. They are more of a slim fit, I will say that. I do get a four in the short sleeves because I find the arms a little bit tight in them if I don't go up one size, but in the tanks and the long sleeves, I still do a two for size reference, but that is what I have for tops, tanks, and t-shirts. But the last thing, of course, I couldn't go a Lululemon recommendations video without recommending you the scuba oversized half zip. They also have the funnel neck and the full zip. I just think, again, these are like a nice oversized sweater option that looks really cute with the bump, honestly, because I don't know, I just like the crop that it kind of like shows it off a little bit more without being like too cropped and it just looks awkward. So I've been still loving my scubas. I've been wearing them to this day. So they definitely work pre-pregnancy and throughout pregnancy. So I highly recommend the scubas. This is my favorite color. They have a core ultralight gray. Again, a basic neutral that I feel like goes with everything. So if you could only have one, I would recommend this color, but they do have quite a few colors on the website right now and they seem to be coming out with more all the time. So if you find one you like, I highly recommend because I've been living in this and it's a great second layer when not a lot of my full zips are working at the moment. Again, because of the bump, I feel like this just kind of like sits nicely over it while complimenting it, but not like taking away from it, if you know what I mean. If you need a second layer, if you are expecting in a colder month or live in a colder climate, this makes a great layering piece. That is all of my recommendations. I feel like that was a lot. My brain is kind of scrambled right now. Not gonna lie, the baby brain has been hitting hard recently, but I hope that is helpful for you guys to see what I've been wearing during my pregnancy and what I recommend to others for their pregnancy. Like I said, it's gonna depend on how you carry your measurements your body shape and type, etc., on what's gonna work for you. But there are pieces from Lululemon that will work for you. Pre-pregnancy, pregnancy, and postpartum. So if you wanna make some investments in some pieces, I hope this video was helpful in deciding which ones those might be. If you made it all the way to the end, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content, and you can hit that notification bell too to be notified when I post new videos. And leave me a comment down below on your favorite piece from Lululemon. Lululemon, maternity, non-maternity, doesn't matter. Just what is your favorite piece from Lululemon? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I thoroughly enjoyed sharing all of my top picks and what I've been wearing throughout my pregnancy. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.